Andy, where are you? This one's a little too spooky for me. I'm gonna sit this one out. No, Andy, come back! Duh. Now who am I gonna do the rest of this video with? The hills are alive with the sounds of music. What? Steve, shh, be quiet. Why? It's not like we're hiding from zombies or something. Yeah. I mean, you're right, but this place is still a little creepy. So where are we again? Europe, in the 1300s. A time when millions died from the bubonic plague, AKA the Black Death. The Black Death? What are the chances? That's the name of that snack stand over there. Wolf spit, get your wolf spit. Ice cold wolf spit. What? Did that guy just say wolf spit? Yeah. I think he did. Well, in that case, I'll take two. What? Excuse me, sir. Do you have any in diet? I am no guy. I am Rafaf, the talking Albanian crowbar. The what? Are you serious? You don't know Rafaf, the mighty beast bird? No. Well, in that case, there's only one thing we need to do. Hit it. You know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Santa. The Lion King, you know the king. He's a little lion and he's got the king. But there's ten beasts. He's from Albania. And he's very strong. He got feathers and he looks exactly like me. Ralph of the Army, the young crowbird. Made of pure Albanian steel Except for his eyes and feathers He's pretty much Albanian steel All of the other crowbirds They're made of hair and wood Bone Okay, enough! We didn't come here to learn about a crow bird. Yeah. We came here to learn about the plague. Ah, yes, the plague. I have superior Armenian knowledge about this topic. I thought you were Albanian. Whatever. The point is, I know a ton about it. Here, let me explain. Ravaf is great bird. <laughs> he like top five birds out of all birds. <laughs> He greater than the big bird, and big bird's dad, bigger bird, and his daddy's dad, significantly bigger bird, what? and great grandfather bird, Gregory, what? with two G's. Stop it! We want to learn about the plague, not you. Ugh, fine, here you go. A plague is another name for a large outbreak of a disease. And while there have been many that have occurred on this planet, this one is one of the worst. Originally called the Great Mortality, and the Great Pestilence, it eventually grew to be known as the Black Death, or more commonly as the Bubonic Plague. The plague occurred in the mid-1300s and is believed to have started even earlier in Asia and spread to the Middle East. But when we speak of the Black Death, most people are discussing the impact it had on Europe, including countries such as England, Germany, France, Spain, Italy, and more. What? Where it's estimated to have killed anywhere from 75 to 200 million people. That's about the entire population of Brazil today. The name bubonic comes from the word bubo, which is the word for an inflamed, swollen lymphatic gland. You see, the bubonic plague attacks the lymphatic system of the body, and the lymphatic system is what defends a person from infections. Records of this time detail people having swollen boils that could reach the size of an apple. What? These boils would ooze blood and pus, and were often accompanied by fever, vomiting, diarrhea, and often death. Victims would have damage to their skin and tissue, 
until they were covered in dark blotches. This is why it was called the Black Death, after the dark blotches people would have on their bodies. Wow, this plague sounds horrible. I wonder what caused it. Wolf spit! Half price wolf spit! Warm or even warmer! What? Never mind. I think I figured it out. Yeah. Ugh. If I had to guess, it's this wolf spit stuff. Tastes like my grandmother's hair. Wait a second, how do you know what your grandma's hair tastes like? Do you really want to know? No. Doesn't matter. But I do remember that the general grossness of this place does have something to do with how the plague started. The plague was caused by a type of bacteria called Yersinia pestis. This disease likely traveled from rats to humans by the bite of infected fleas. As human beings' means of traveling and trading became more and more advanced, this allowed for more germs to spread with them. In the past, if a giant infectious disease broke out in a town, it would likely stay isolated to that specific place. But with more people traveling and interacting with one another, more germs began to spread. It could spread from the bites of rats or fleas, or even spread through the air. But travel wasn't the only culprit. One of the main reasons the Black Death spread so rapidly was due to a lot of people living very close to one another in urban areas. In these places they lived, they weren't exactly the cleanest, which allowed for the plague to spread easily. So basically, a lot of people having a lot of waste and not being very clean led to certain areas being devastated by the plague. And right before the plague came to Europe, their cities saw a huge boom in population. So conditions were getting tight, places were getting dirtier, and disease started to spread, and wiped out anywhere from one-third to 50% of the population of Europe. Those infected would die anywhere from two to eight days after first showing symptoms. Hey, what were those symptoms again? Black boils. They're really gross and kind of impossible to miss. What were you saying? What? Is there something on my face? Uh, no. Just a large black dot that means you're gonna die in two days. What? What? Are you serious? Rough off, quick! Is there something I can do to get rid of this thing? You're not gonna like what it is. Just tell me, I'll do anything. Well, the first thing you need to do is Stay hydrated. Hurry, give me something to drink. Well, the only thing to drink is... Wolf spit. What? In that case, never mind. I'll take the plague. You're such a weird bird, though. Can't you do normal bird things? Oh, yeah, I got the normal bird stuff. Here, watch. Meowth. Meowth. I am normal bird. Did he just say meowth? I'm pretty sure he's combining meow and rough because he doesn't know the noises that birds make. Yeah. All right, you got me. But please, come on, help me get rid of this black spot. I'll do anything. I wouldn't be so sure about that. During the time of the Black Death, medical professionals thought it was a mystery. They just didn't have the knowledge at the time to think that staying clean could keep germs away. All right, did everyone go to the bathroom before we start the surgery? Yeah! Did you guys wash your hands? No! Good. Now let's stick our fingers in his belly button and see what happens. What? One of the most famous medical professionals during the Black Death were the plague doctors. They were hired by villagers to help the sick, remove bodies, and do studies on bodies. One of the things they did was called bloodletting, where these doctors would use leeches to draw the blood of the infected. The plague doctors were characterized by their sticks, used to poke bodies, long robe and boots, a mask with glass eye holes, and a beak, filled with different plants to help them not smell the grossness of the bodies around them, and because they thought it would prevent the disease spreading to them. At the time, there was no cure. Today, it could be easily treated with antibiotics. But still, there are anywhere from 1,000 to 
3,000 cases of the plague every year. But back then, the only survivors were people who avoided infection and those whose genes had a slight mutation that may have made them less susceptible to the sickness. But still, the easiest way to get rid of the plague is keeping clean. But even if the plague were to spread today, it wouldn't stand a chance against today's medicine. So, all we need to do is go back to our own time. Yeah? Take some medicine. Uh-huh. And then, boom! We drink wolf spit! What? I was gonna say we'd get rid of the plague. You better hurry. Very few people survive the plague when it hits, so you better go. You got a point. Oh, let me pack you up some wolf spit before you... You guys forgot your wolf spit! 724 years later. And... Finished. Hey, your black mark is gone! I know. I'm like 100% now. It's kind of sad though that very few people survive the Black Death. I was thinking the same thing. It's kind of sad. Hey, we should celebrate our survival with a toast! I can have Crystal Pepsi, and you can have... Ice Cold. Wolf spit? Greetings, it is I, Raffaff the Crabass, and thank you for watching my superior Armenian video on the Bubonic Plague. This video was sponsored by Wolf Spit. We even have a super exclusive superior Wolf Spit shirt, plus Raffaff hides secret coupon code in this video. Try to find it. If you can, you can use this code to get money off of my wolf speed shirt. So try to find it. Now, back to the inferior man-child. Thanks, Rafaf. Now, let's get to my patrons on Patreon who keep this channel alive. They rock, and they got to see this video a full two weeks earlier. And they got their name in a video. Special thanks to Luke Raposa, Sam B. and his mom from Tennessee, Callum G., Solomon Caldwell and Asa Caldwell, Lucia and Camilla Buendia, Gavin Meidel, Benjamin M., The Gowdy Bros and Mabsy, Lizzie, Dean, and Trevor, Liam and Evelina, Alexander, Julian, and David, Kendall H., Roman and Mars, Erickson and Alexander L., Carter, Levi, and Fletcher Crawford, Jasper, Soros, Rex, Asher Machado, Ada S., Laser Rosen, Lennon, McCotton, and Jones, Page, Avalon, and Cash, Ronan X, and Raiden Z, Connor and Emma B., Wesley C., Kathan and Callan, Gavin and Ian Eshte, Christopher F., George, George Monkey, Summers, CL and Django Henry, Sunshine Sparkle and the Pups, Hazley, Hanalei, Whitney and Brian, Jameson, Nolan and Lily, Alan Backer, Connor Pendergrass, Toothless and Light Fury, Gregory Shaw, Owen Pickle Symer, John Arthur and Alice, Aria Caudry, Lainey, Maddie and Henry, Connor LeCoke and Family, Bert, Kate, Ross, Lindy and Pepper, Bodie Turner, Jonah Joyce, Julian Jackson and Jacob, Roman Kennedy, Xavier Freeze, Carter Levi and Fletcher Crawford, John Michael M. and Charlie M., Mika Jordan and Maya, The Puffin Boys, Thomas Timlin and Matthew Timlin, Jack Hartzler, Gavin and Hayden Huggin, Max C., Lawrence from Canada, Stephen McPhee, The Rivard Boys, Anna Axel, Penny and Liam Drury, Catalina Ryan from Dublin, Ireland, Jason the Kid Parker, Ben and Ollie, Charlie Stone, Burning Wick, Jackson Bear Welch, Jack and his awesome dad, Kuchan115, Elias Mark Turner, Jonathan George Chesselton Kent, Layla Delgado, Asher Evans, Lucas Roulette and family, Sammy Osif, Riker Smith, Virginia and Harrison Way, Evan Lee, Silas M, Ellie Moon and Noah Orion, Hawthorne and Willow Tree, Marley and Lennon Kimsey, Sophie and Remy Keffer, Zane and Asher Davis, Connor Higgins, Max and Kaz, Sam and Eddie from London, Liam, Basil, and Louie, JJ Schmidt, Rebecca Beanie, Oshi, and Lava Liam. I think you should probably get your name in my next video. And if you really want to, visit patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo. If you sign up, you can help me pick my next topic, see my videos early, and more. Check the description box for a link. Thanks for watching, guys.